Okay, so once you have the latest version of Betaflight on your computer installed, you're going to want to take your drone. Don't plug it in. I just have the battery on there just to have it on there. So take your USB plug, plug it in. You should notice that this change, and you should see it. If it tips forward and tips back and left and right, everything's correct as far as the orientation goes. So now if you leave it plugged in, switch over to ports, go down to UART 2. We're going to switch this to Smart Audio. Hit save and reboot at the bottom. Might be out of screen. Let me see. Okay, maybe that'll make it easier to see. So after you save and reboot it, you'll come back and see that it says Smart Audio. Come over here. I like to run reverse direction motors. D-Shot 600 is already selected. We're going to leave these on here. We're going to name it the Tyro 69. We're using SBUS, so that's already selected. This, we're going to switch it to 180. I'm not really into beepers, so... I don't know if this has a beeper built in. You might, if you wanted a beeper, you would actually probably have to buy a beeper because it should have been beeping. So go down, save and reboot. I'm gonna leave this alone for now since I'm not really sure. It should be set, I would assume. Now looking at everything here, looks all right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slow it down a little bit. I like to fly a little bit differently, so feed forward. I'm going to leave all that alone for now. I'm going to change my rate. Now these are all like preference on how it feels for you. It'd be easier if I just punch it in. I'm gonna hit save on that. I like to slow it down and give me a little bit of play in the middle so it's a little bit smoother. So now we're going to go to our receiver. Notice this is wrong for mine. So I'm turn my radio on and make sure that my radio and receiver are bound together. Yep. Okay, so throttle. <laughs> That's pitch. Okay. So on mine, I'm going to have to switch it to Spectrum for this. For some reason, mine's set up that way. Hit save. Now my throttle is correct. Pitch, roll, yaw. And then if we look down here, we can see the quadcopter. Let's see if I can flip it around so forward back roll left and right yaw left yaw right yep that's all working correct so we'll hit save we'll go over to mode here um i don't really like using an angle mode at all so i'm gonna cut that one off Let's 
see what do we have I believe air mode was on I have to look back at it now Honestly, I'm not sure if any of these will work, but we'll give it a shot. Basically, we arm and we're out. We ain't got nothing else to worry about on it. So we're going to save that. Now we'll go over to our motors here. And make sure you don't have any propellers on it. And if you notice in our little figure here, you know, up, motor one, two, three, four. So what I like to do is test them, make sure they're working. Okay, it'll need definitely the power. So now is where we're going to want to plug in our power. We'll go over here to motor one, spin it up. Now it's spinning the wrong way. Motor two. Spinning the correct way. Motor three. Spinning the correct way. Prime motor four would be wrong. All right, so motor four and one, I need to take a wire and swap them around. Any two wires, it doesn't matter. Swap them around, and then it'll be good. Now we're going to look at our OSD. Turn that off. We'll do the main battery voltage. Actually, let's unplug our quad since we forgot to do that. We'll do the craft name, put that up top. Just simple OSD, I'm going to save that. I'm going to change the font to something a little bit easier to read. Hit upload. All right. So now we can hit disconnect. We're going to have to go back, swap <clears throat> motor wires on motor one and four, any two and any two. After we confirm that we swapped over the motor wires, we're going to take two left and two right props and hook them up. Okay, so after you get the props on, what I'm going to be running here is a GNB 3S 520 milliamp hour uh, high voltage LiPo. This can run on 2S or 3S, so I just decided to get some 3S and take it out on some paces. So I'm going to throw, up, throw these batteries on the charger, get my gear ready, and then we'll go out there and we'll fly this bad boy. All right, I got the tire outside, but man, it's pretty windy out, so I'm not sure how good the flight's gonna look. Cause it's not too bad right this second. I'll give it a shot.
All right, so getting after getting done flying the Tyro, this thing is pretty awesome. Uh, it might need a little bit of adjustment on the PIDs. I think maybe even some different props because other than that, it seems like it's got a little bit of vibration, but I think it's these props aren't the best. So I think I'm gonna do some prop upgrade and maybe adjust the PIDs a little bit and it'll be dialed in. But for like 70 bucks or 65 bucks, whatever this is going for right now, man, that's a pretty good deal. All you have to do is add a battery in your receiver. This is a pretty good deal. The VTX, maybe upgrade. Maybe it's not unlocked. I'm not even sure. I'm just running it stock how it was, but it kind of was breaking up over there by the back of my house and up by the front. But other than that, for 3S, this thing is a beast. So if you're looking to purchase one, there's a link in the description. It'll be the current price of whatever it is. I want to say it's $65, maybe $69. Um, this thing is a pretty awesome drone. The only thing I might do is upgrade the VTX, some props. Other than that, it's good. It's good to go. Maybe get some more 3S batteries. <laughs> If this video helped you, please like and subscribe. And as always, I'll be bringing you another one. Everybody.